Hi there, this is Nellie Deutsch, and today I'm going to show you how to create a Google Form for your Zoom meetings. If you don't have a paid account, you can create a registration form. So you're going to do it through Google Form. Really, really easy. You do need to have a Gmail account or an organization account on a G Suite. So first thing I'm going to do is go into my Gmail account, go into the nine dots at the top right and then go into my drive. So let's do that. Go into the drive. Once in the drive, I'm going to get the following. I'm looking for new. So let me go to new under plus new. Click on it. I get the following. Let's go into more so we can get Google Forms. Click on the Google Form. Wait a few seconds for it to come up. And there it is. So all you need to do is really, really simple. You can beautify it and so on, but the process is easy. So you give it a title. The title is Mindfulness. That's my next session, Mindfulness. Okay, so we've got the title. Now uh, I can add a description. That's up to you. Add a description. A valid email. Um, now this is important here. Make sure that you have this form is collecting email. All right, and you can change that under change settings. So let's take a look at the general change settings. Collect emails. You want to do that. Response receipts if respondent requests it. Um, requires sign in. Now this is important, otherwise you may get people signing in a lot of times. So this will limit it to one time, which is fine. Respondents can edit after submit. I like to leave this. See charts, that's nobody's business. <laughs> All right, so uh, here we are. We got it set. Next, the question. So um, whatever question you want to ask. So uh, notice what Zoom has for the registration, and you can do the same. You can simply add uh, all this information, okay, um, and you add the topic, of course, the title, uh, the date, okay, first name, last name, email address, and confirm. That's it, but you don't need to confirm because I think that's, um, that's fine, but you might want to do that. And then click on register, so that's it. So... Um, let's go back to the form and add the same information unless you want to add more but this is the very basic so in the description notice what's over here um, you can add an image and you can add a video as well which is really important so uh, take advantage of this add a youtube video or a video and or add an image i don't know if you need to do both but you can so um our option one and these are going to be required. So let's add um, full name. Notice the short answer text is a description. In order to do that, you need to go into over here. Okay, so uh, let's open that up. And then you get description. All right, and then also response validation if you want that. Okay. But that's up to you. So the description, I'm going to click on it and then it allows me to write a description. So here I'm going to write first. For the next one, I get the question by going to the plus. So let's do that. Plus for the next uh, question. The next question is uh, going to be the email, but you're collecting anyways. But if you want to, you might just want to do that. Okay, so write a valid email and then uh, the conditions will be okay response validation so in this case um, notice what the options are you've got a few things you've got the date time if you want age or if you want any information that you want you can use these okay so in this case uh, we want for the email it's uh, there's email so we're just going to click on email and then that'll be fine um, we're good to go all right so uh, let's click on over here notice what's here all these um, options okay and then before the send you can also add collaborators by going to the top here in three dots and add collaborators that's up to you notice what's next to that 
Okay, this is what we've looked at before and we've taken care of it, so we don't need to do that again. This is to preview and this is to customize. You get different colors. Notice I'm using purple. That's uh, the default right now, but actually I like white. All right, and the color I'm going to use is, uh, well, you can try all these out. I think they're pretty bad. I don't really like any of them. So if you don't like any of them, just go on the plus and you can go for white, which is uh, one, two, four, five, six, and then click on add. And then you get white. Okay, if that's too white for you, then change the color. As I said, when you're adding different colors, you can go through this color wheel or you can add the um, hex or the HTML of the color. Okay, so we've got that. Um, let's see what else we can add here under the palette. We can choose an image, as I said before. So you might want to choose an image. You've got these possibilities. Uh, you've got some photos here, your own photos. Or you can simply add upload and then browse through your computer and upload. Okay, so I've added Mindful. Okay, uh, you could add something better. Notice uh, the size wasn't right. Okay, next, uh, responses. Now, this is really important. You want to open a place uh, for the responses. And uh, let's get rid of that. And uh, you will be accepting responses, not accepting. Okay, you can decide when you want that. But first, you have to have a place for it. So uh, select response destination. Okay, so create a new spreadsheet, or if you have a current one, so create. Now, also notice that um, here you can select um, to get email notifications every time someone sends a response. I, I like that. Okay, so add-ons. If you have any add-ons, you might want to take a look at that. Let's go back to the questions and the preview. So let's take a look at the preview. This is what it will look like. Notice that background color is back. Okay, so uh, send me a copy of responses. I thought we didn't want to do that. Okay, so let's make sure that uh, we get rid of that. Okay, so let's go back to edit. This is uh, the edit at the bottom right there. And uh, let's make sure that um, there was our responses, accepting responses. Um, Okay, so everything is set except for, let's go back to the settings, and um, response receipts. Um, let's leave that out. Okay, and save. And that's it, except for one more thing, the palette. I don't like that color, so I'm going to add white. I think white's here. There we go. I prefer white wherever possible. Usually, um, oh, it's back again. Usually the color goes with whatever background color. We want white. Basic. That's for the writing. Okay, so notice the image is gone. It's not there anymore because I changed the color. All right, so you either let them have the color background based on your photo or you just leave your photo out. Okay, it's up to you. Now, remember, we wanted to add Facebook and so on, but you don't really need to do that. Okay, let's go back here. Okay, so next I'm going to add a video, and I'll be doing it over here under the video icon. Click on it. I've got a few options. I can add a URL, search for it. I'm just going to add the YouTube. There it is. I can search for it. There it is. Click on select and notice where it appears. Okay, and I want to remove that. There is the delete over here. You can also, uh, if you want to duplicate questions, but I'm going to delete that and simply add the link. And notice uh, it'll be hyperlinked. Uh, let's take a look at the view so you can see that it's hyperlinked there. So now if anybody wants to listen to it, they can. So that's the form. Okay, you click on the responses, they're all required, and then submit. So that's a form. It's very basic, but it works.
and you'll get everyone's emails so you can send them the link or you can actually add the link to your form um, over here so that's another possibility if you'd like to do that but then why would anybody fill in the form so they fill in the form and then you send them the link and that's it hope this has been of help if you have any questions add to the comment box and subscribe to my channel thank you